Something I've been thinking about a lot recently is noise pollution and how it affects our day-to-day -day lives. It's that ever sneaking sound always in the background. But did you know it can have devastating negative consequences on our and our family members' health? Now here, as of recently, I've been experiencing excessive levels of noise pollution. Here recently, we have been having construction work going on all around our studio. And let me tell you, it is not for the faint of heart. Have you ever been awakened by a loud siren or a plane flying overhead? New research published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology finds such noise pollution may have an effect on your heart health. The researchers compared unexpected or long-term environmental noise to other risk factors of heart disease like obesity and high blood pressure. Noise pollution can affect us in far sneakier and worse ways than we realize. Just being around it can cause a general lack of productivity, high blood pressure, brain fog, and a myriad of other problems. Diabetes, uh, heart disease, high blood pressure, sleeping problems, birth-related problems, inability to pay attention at work, health consequences, life quality consequences that arise just from, from being exposed to noise. The World Health Organization, which doesn't have the best reputation for being the most trustworthy, but nonetheless, they estimate that one million healthy years are lost per year due to noise pollution. The World Health Organization's findings have also shown that noise pollution is the second largest environmental cause of health problems behind air pollution. Now sound is typically measured in decibels. Rustling leaves can measure anywhere from 20 to 30 decibels all the way to the sound of a loud siren, which is 120 to 140 decibels. Studies have shown that sounds that reach above 85 decibels can cause harm to humans and the environment. The human ear can tolerate noise up to 85 decibels without damage. Anything louder poses a risk of permanent hearing loss. Yet, studies show that anything at or above 65 decibels can trigger an increase in blood pressure, heart rate, and stress hormones in the blood. Many things around us in our daily environment often exceed this threshold, such as trains, lawnmowers, or really loud construction. Noise pollution impacts millions of people a day, and it is the most common cause associated with noise-induced hearing loss, which can actually affect people of all ages. So not only does noise pollution affect us, but how does it negatively impact our children? Unfortunately, noise pollution has a profound negative impact on our children and youth. Five million children aged 12 to 19 in the United States alone have been documented to be suffering from noise-induced hearing loss, which is something that will profoundly impact their lives on a day-to-day -day basis. It's an estimated 12,500 students in the United States alone suffer from learning impairment due to environmental noise pollution. In the 1970s, up in uh, Inwood, in the northern part of Manhattan, there's an elevated train track that's uh, within a couple of hundred feet of the school. Every few minutes, the teacher would have to stop for 30 seconds because the train was so loud that the students couldn't hear her. The Transit Authority eventually installed rubber pads between the, the rails. Uh, the school put uh, acoustic, sound absorbing acoustic tiles on the ceilings of the classroom. and Remarkably, the reading scores then rose again to the sort where they were the same on both sides of the building. Not only that, but just poor acoustics in classrooms have a significant contribution to reduced learning ability for many students. That's why oftentimes students in the front of the class tend to have better grades than students who sit further back. And it's not because they're actually smarter, they're just able to hear the teacher better. Studies have also found that chronic exposure to aircraft noise is correlated with a significant reduction in reading ability and reading comprehension. Who would have thought that? Not only does noise pollution have a negative impact on human life, but it can also have profound consequences for wildlife and nature. Not only that, 
but significant noise pollution also correlates to a reduction in offspring from birds and may be causing other wildlife to have less chicks and babies. So much for the birds and the bees. Not only does noise pollution on land affect wildlife, but noise pollution in our oceans caused by boats can significantly impact whales and dolphins' ability to use echolocation. Researchers are trying to pin down the damage that human activity is having on the ocean, and they're revealing some concerning trends. Noise pollution is most prominent in the northern hemisphere. Every decade, noise from shipping has doubled in intensity, which has been seen to have an effect on certain species of whale, reducing their ability to communicate with each other by about 60%. Air guns are the most common method used to map the ocean floor for oil and gas exploration. Their impacts have been detected 4,000 kilometers from the source and have been linked to multiple mass strandings. The South Pacific is the part of the ocean with the least human noise. The good news is that unlike other forms of pollution, the impact from noise is short-lived. If we compare sound to other source of pollution, as soon as you switch off the sound, the effect is gone. Ultimately, noise pollution is making the task of survival much harder for wild animals. And because of this, environmental groups are urging the US Navy to stop or reduce its use of sonar and military training. So here are some good ways that you can help reduce your and your loved one's exposure to noise pollution and reduce your risk of noise-induced hearing loss. Here are nine tips that you can use to protect your hearing. Number one, use hearing protection around loud sounds. Number two, turn the volume down to a reasonable level. Number three, limit the time that you're exposed to loud sounds. Number four, take a break from all noises. Number five, avoid loud or noisy places whenever possible. Number six, try to increase the distance between you and any loud sources of noise. Number seven, keep moving. Exercise keeps your blood pumping and circulating, which in turn will help keep your ears healthy. Number eight, contrary to popular belief, never put cotton swabs in your ears. We actually have an entire video guide on how to best care for your ears linked in the video's description below. And finally, number nine, if you can, get regular hearing tests. Even if you think your hearing is good now, it would be an awesome idea to establish a baseline while you're younger and your hearing is good, so you'll be able to know if it's declining as you age. One of the reasons that noise pollution doesn't get the recognition that it truly deserves as a huge impact on our health, mental and physical, is because you can't see it or touch it. It's almost inanimate. And it seems like when things come to sound, people have a disconnect. Like they can't understand how it will profoundly impact you. But remember, everything in life is sound and vibration. So the noises around us will have a profound impact on our overall health and quality of life. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Y'all make sure to subscribe and like for more. And I'll get back to y'all here very soon. Peace. Thank you.